Hey, doctor, I uh, wanted to ask you about a story that ran over the weekend in The Washington Post, an elaborate study that looked at a traveler who had tested negative for COVID-19 before a flight. They'd actually been doing tests before people were going on flights. This was a, a flight from Dubai to New Zealand. Uh, it just so happened that the test at the time was negative, got on the flight, and sometime during on that flight clearly really was positive ended up giving it to four other people on the flight. Now, interestingly, everybody on the flight was supposed to be masked. Now, I know people take their masks off for food here and there, and, and you're talking about the various kinds of masks you can wear. Four people on the flight get it, of course. Once they land, uh, clearly they spread it to others. Do you have any anxiety, especially as we get into this travel season and you now have the CDC uh, telling people, frankly, not to travel, uh, what kind of risk is actually presented on an airplane? Yeah, look, we, there's been a lot of research looking at this. We, we're not going to be able to fully quantify it. I've done some work with one of the airlines. It's not risk-free. I mean, you know, there is risk of transmission. You're in a confined space if you're close to other people in the right circumstances. Someone might be infected right around you. You're passing things back and forth. It's not going to be risk-free in a confined space, especially on a long flight where you're going to be getting up, going to the bathroom, taking things from the flight attendant. You know, I think in a, sm in a shorter flight where you can control your own behavior better, not get up out of your seat, keep a mask on, it's easier to reduce your risk. A long flight, it gets incrementally much more difficult. And are you a believer, and I know you had said you had traveled last week, that, and talk, this goes back to the column you wrote, if everybody on the flight was wearing an N95 mask and didn't take it off, are you pretty convinced that you wouldn't have a problem? I think if everyone on the mask was everyone on the flight was wearing a high quality mask and wearing it well, yeah, the risk would be would be sharply reduced. Look, we know we protect ourselves in the healthcare setting. You see a lot of doctors and nurses getting sick. So I don't want to trivialize the risk to healthcare providers, but they they take they take steps to protect themselves in that setting. The problem is in daily life and routine activities, it's very hard to practice really good respiratory precautions consistently without having a break in your regimen. And it's, it's when you let your guard down that you become at risk. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.